During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the difference between augers and belt layers. There are a lot of different ways to move grain and other commodities, and for farmers, one of the things that they're concerned about all the time is, well, I don't want to chew my grain up or grind it up. I want that to be in good quality because farmers are going to harvest that grain, put it into bins, take it out of bins, haul it to grain buyers. They got a lot of handling that they have to do along the way. So for the most part over the years, farmers have used augers, and we do on our farm too, to move this grain. Well, the challenge with augers, it's basically like a little corkscrew that's, that's pushing that grain along. They run pretty fast, and if you're not running the auger full, then you can really chew up that grain. And the problem with that is now you might get a dock at the grain elevator because some of the grain is damaged, or if you put it in a bin, now it's much more likely to spoil. So what a lot of people have gone to today is belt layers. The difference here is it's basically a belt that's carrying that grain along. It's just a lot more expensive, and it requires a lot more maintenance. Well, the other thing that you can have for an advantage with the auger is you can run at a fairly steep incline. With belt bayers, you can't run quite so steep, so you need a much longer belt bayer. And, you know, if you just have one location and one grain bin and you don't have to move them around a lot, well, it may not be such a big deal, but if you're moving it down the road, if you got to move it from one bin to the next, boy, having a big, long belt bayer can be a little challenging. Well, the reason why we're talking about this today is as you're driving past farms, if you're not a farmer, you may be wondering why the difference and why are some people using augers and some people have these great big belts out there. Well, the belt veyer just basically allows the farmer to have much better grain quality costs more money. Like Darren said, you can't go at as steep an angle or anything like that. So I get all that. But as things have changed on the farm and more farmers have been able to bring in at least a little bit more income with the grain, then they're looking at things like, OK, how can I maximize my overall return here? I don't want to damage that grain. I want to get the most out of that grain in terms of dollars and cents. So that's where the belt veyer really comes in. In terms of that adjustment, the problem with the belt veyer that we've always found over the years is it seems like it'll slide to one side or maybe the other and we just have to be monitoring that all the time whereas with the auger we pretty much just let it run until it eventually wears out and then we have to replace the flighting inside so not a lot of maintenance with that auger but much much more with the belt veyer at least in our experience well there are a lot of different ways farmers can choose to handle grain the common way in the past has always been the auger and it's still used a lot today that's kind of like a corkscrew that pushes grain along but the other way that's becoming a little more common, especially when it's for seed handling to keep that grain intact and in better condition is the belt veyer. That was our discussion today. Well, whether you're using an auger or a belt veyer on your farm doesn't make a whole lot of difference. For our Weed of the Week, we're going to talk about this week's weed. Can you identify it? <music>